Hello guys, good morning. How is everyone doing? I hope that you are having an amazing day. Today is an absolutely beautiful day, which brings me to, as you can see from the title of this video, I will be showing you guys my 2021 vision board today. This video is super long overdue and I do apologize for that. I did film myself making my vision board and I had that whole video ready for you guys and set up, filmed, just needed to be edited. And then when I went to edit it, it was super boring. Honestly, I just, it was boring. I also had people in the background talking, making noise, walking through. It just, it just wasn't a good video. It didn't turn out how I wanted it to. So I wanted to refilm it for you guys anyways. That brings us to right now. It is like four months overdue. So we're now in April. It's fine. I'm here to show you that you can still make a vision board or do a vision board absolutely any time of the year. It doesn't have to be at the start of the year. You can keep making them. I know plenty of people that keep making them throughout the year, but this is the one that I made back in January. I absolutely love it. It's so cool. I've already completed one of the things on there and a few of the others are kind of getting, getting very, very close. So I'm very excited. I just wanna make this super short, super sweet, talk you guys through really, really quickly what's on my vision board and show you the vision board that I've created for 2021. I would absolutely love to make this a series on my channel. So if you enjoy this video, please leave a like on it so I know to make another one next year or when I make a new vision board. I'm super, super excited for this video and I cannot wait to show you what's on my vision board. So. Let's get straight into it. Let's see what's on my vision board for 2021. All right, so to start off with, the center quote I chose for this year was, what if you couldn't see the end of 2021? This wasn't like a Pinterest quote or anything like that. This kind of just sprung to mind when I lost my friend. I kind of live by this. I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just something I think of a lot. So I definitely thought that that could be my centre quote for this year. And from that, we will start, I don't even know where we'll start, where should we start? We'll start down here with this, this whole section. So to start off with, I put a whole heap of travel related photos on here in hope that COVID would clear up this year, which thank God we are starting to see some sort of a change in things. Where I live, we're definitely seeing some changes in things. Um, out, we no longer have to wear masks anymore. So I apologize, I don't know what's up with my voice. We no longer have to wear masks anymore. So that's a really big plus. Um, things are starting to look up for traveling and things like that. So I was really, really grateful that that started to happen because this year on my mood board, I put this one. This one, this one, and that's kind of like a traveling, but like date related kind of thing, kind of like this one. Basically all just kind of related with traveling with Ricky this year. I would love to go somewhere at some stage just to get away. So that's all my little travel section. I've got a little airplane window down here. Moving on from that up here I've just got a random tattoo idea that I have. This kind of is where I should have started I guess. This relates more to the center quote. Um, I'm getting some sort of an elephant tattoo for my friend who passed away and I really 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 want to get that this year. Moving on from that I would love to get braces this year because my biggest insecurity about myself is my teeth. I hate them. I've always just wanted to get braces and I thought that maybe that could be a goal I could work towards. Moving on from that, I have two photos of this same house for two reasons. One is for, I really, really, just to remind me that I really, really, really want to save money to eventually buy my mum her dream tiny house which I would assume would look something like this because she has the same kind of aesthetic as me, black. <laughs> but then I also have this one, which is exactly the same house like I was saying. That one basically just represents that I would like to also get some sort of a booking 
for mum to stay at a tiny house just to get a feel for it for her birthday. I came up with the idea at the same time as I found the pictures and I was looking for mine and my partner's anniversary and we were looking for Airbnbs and I found a tiny house one super close to where we live and I thought that would be a really cool experience for her so that's what that second photo represents and from that I would just like to work out more this year 100% would love to get into a bit better shape because I'm sick of people commenting on my weight I would love to have less sugar because people comment on my sugar intake a lot and that's something that kind of just sticks in the back of my mind so I wanted to put that on just as a reminder less sugar this year um, some health affirmations on there then I thought I'd put this whole little section here of finding some more real friends this year because I've come across a lot of fake people and not so much just real friends but also just reaching out to old friends and so far this is one of the ones that's very well in progress and I'm very excited because I've made a whole heap of new friends this year so far so I'm very excited to see where else the rest of the year takes me and who else I meet. This one I want to create a better wardrobe space in my Depop room for my Depop stuff. I would love to also find some sort of way to display my bags because I love bags. I am such a hoe for bags and I just can't help myself. That is what that is for. This one I put on here before I got this. So I'm very, very, very excited that you guys got to come along with me when I got this. And that is something that's checked off my mood board already for this year. So I'm very excited about that. And I absolutely love it. This one is just doing a little bit more self-care this year and things like that. This I'm going to cover a little bit because they're kind of personal but it's more or less just some goals for my Depop shop and my YouTube channel. Um, from that we have I would love to just put out more content for you guys, just push myself to do a lot more businessy type things which there is kind of like something happening in the works that sort of relates to this as well in a business sense and I'm very excited about that. This next one is just same thing, same sense, just a girl boss building her empire, a little quote I thought was super cute and very aesthetic as well. They kind of represent each other. This is kind of about my Depop shop, just taking a bit more ownership in my shop, a bit more CEO like 50 self-care ideas for a bad day. This goes along with the self-love and the health affirmations. I've just got one in each corner. Just to keep a reminder that self-love and self-care is a super, super, super important thing and it shouldn't be forgotten. So that's why that's there. These Starbucks cups are because I have never tried Starbucks before. That may come as a shock to some people but I would love to try Starbucks for the first time this year. I think that would be really cool. Everyone seems to talk about it, so that is why that's there. This little section here are just some kind of little reminders that Ricky and I should take some time out for ourselves and take some more little at-home date nights and traveling to go out and stay at airbnbs and just take some time out for ourselves and have some time together and go on dates and just that's just a reminder lastly this last one here is a dj at a club and that is because i am 21 this year in a month and i've never been clubbing so when everything settles down with covid I would love to go clubbing for the first time ever at the age of 21. So save the date, 31st of May, my 21st birthday. <laughs> Just kidding. But that's what that is for. And that my friends is everything I have on my 2021 
dream board, vision board, whatever you would like to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too boring this time. I hope it gets edited. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment something down below because I read every single one of my comments and I love responding to you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Let me know down below if maybe something on my vision board is also on your vision board. And until next time, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.